Today, we head to Japan's abandoned apocalyptic city. This is like every apocalyptic video or film you have ever seen, but real life. Well, this is a bit of an important morning. Oh, right now you catch me in Nagasaki, Japan, 6 a.m. And we are going to pick up Espinage, who we've not seen since 2019, Battleship Island. And it just so happens that we are going to visit another island, Ikushima Island, which is a 99.9% .9 abandoned island, apart from a couple of residents who still live there and uh, have a restaurant. Uh, we're going to pick up the car. Um, but yeah, it should be fun. All right, Dave, what's the damage? I don't know, is it the end? Yeah, green. Oh, that's just really, yeah, that's not too bad. But it's Steve have it, right? That's not too bad, oh, okay. Because these, these barriers here lift up and won't let you drive out until you've paid the fee. And look at this, an empty boot, pretty much. Look at that. Didn't realise it was so big. Right. Going to the abandoned island today. The island of dreams. <laughs> Family Mart visit. You know how it is. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, Dragon Ball Z! Where is it? Oh, oh they've gone. all gone. They've all gone. Who bought them all? Oh, some of us have bought them all at once. Yeah, and, and this one? This Especially is the, like where we are. That's the rarest one. Oh, we damn. need him. We need to go to another one. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. You're gonna vlog in. Right. Let's do it. Quick food grab. We got spinach with us. This is our. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this way? Oh, yeah. We're going to try the wall. Ticket? Ticket. Ticket. This is awesome. Oh, this person? Okay. Yeah. Oh, this. 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 I got the good number. That's a... Uh... Alright, that's a quick one. Oh! We're the only car <laughs> on this road. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we boarded the ferry and we are going to Ikushima Island with the boys. Abandoned, most of it is. Uh, even the restaurant now is abandoned. I don't know if I said it before, it was open, no longer open. Two weeks ago it shut down, completely abandoned, the owner died. So uh, the only way for people to eat on the island, the residents are uh, vending machines. Oh, I'm already feeling it right now. I get, uh, I get seasick. <laughs> Graham, when I said we were the only ones on the boat, check this out. Well, we're wobbling a bit. The waves are a bit high. Alright, bring them back. Bring back some serious Battleship Island vibes. Last time I was here was 2019, and we were sailing out to Battleship Island for one of the most epic explorers I've ever done. But now we're on the sea, 2023, heading to Ikushima Island. Again, another abandoned island. That's, that's Ikushima Island? Okay, Ikushima Island is coming up. We're fast approaching it. You can see there's a lot of buildings on there and it is all abandoned. So apparently there's 162 people, 162 residents still on the island and the only way for them to eat is vending machines. So um, it's, it's pretty interesting. It's getting rocky as hell. Oh wow, there's proper seats in there. Oh, there's proper seats in there. Yeah, take a seat. <laughs> Right, here we are. Yes, yes, we made it. Look at that, all abandoned up there as well. You can just clearly see. Okay, so where we're pulling up right now is the last remaining people of Ikushima. There's actually only 100 people now. Um, last time Espinage came, there was 162, but it's decreased again. Um, the only active bit is near the harbour. The rest of the island is fully abandoned. So we get to roam and check it all out. Let's get in the car. The gate's going to be coming down. Ikushima! 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 Alright, over that way. <laughs> Home! Let's go say, with a population of about 100, you probably know everyone on the island. Are you going to drive? Yeah, Espinar is going to drive. Oh! Go! Go! 
Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's all rotting because the seawater is uh, eroding the, the, the steel. I mean, look at this, it. it's completely crumbled it. That's a rare sight you see on the aisle of the car. Uh, elephant nose. Oh. They call that the elephant nose. It looks like an elephant. Yeah, it does. It's a famous point. Look at this. No one lives here. This should it's not crazy, yeah. There's people on here. It's crazy to go on an island that literally is pretty much. Hey, they've got fire they've got a fire engine. Yeah. Oh, oh. police police office. Look at the police office. Fire, fire fire truck. Truck. Yeah. So this is the police office. They actually have a police office, okay. Uh, that's that's pretty side. Uh, abandoned hospital. Abandoned, oh. abandoned hospital? Look. Up there. Wait, is the police station abandoned? Yeah. Oh, police? No, no, no. no, 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 no. Okay. 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 Fresh a Steven. Brand new abandoned school. Close down. Alright, so that's good to know. Like, so. Oh, yeah. very famous. Um, all apartments, old residential. Eight, 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 eight floors. Eight floors. Oh. Yeah, up ahead is apartment so complexes. Wow. The school on the right of us Amazing. only had about like... It looks like Jurassic Park. Yes. Yes. Dinosaurs here. Nah, it's Jurassic Park, Dave. Right, Jurassic Park. The Lost World. Ikashima. Right, we're heading up to the old workers' residential properties. There's about 2,000 workers that used to live here, and now it's completely abandoned ghost town. It, um, it looks looks like Battleship Island. It does, right? No. It no. looks like it. It reminds me of Battleship Island. Oh, yeah. A little. Yeah, it does. It, these, these reminds me of Battleship Island. There's cats. So I think my favorite part about this, I think my favorite part about this island is that there's hundreds of cats. It's literally a cat island with abandoned places. Close. Oh, this is the restaurant that used to be open. Oh, yeah. uh, look at the cats. Oh, the cats are still in front of it there? too. No. Oh, we should have brought food, boys. I know. Yo, let's go. Oh, let's no. out. Let's get out. Yeah. Can we get out? Okay. Come on. Come on, you. Come on. Hey. <laughs> go on. Go on. Hey. He didn't want to move. For a second. He was a little angry. Uh, I can't believe the cats are still hanging out there as if the restaurant was full. <laughs> They're probably so used to the Yeah, eat yeah. Oh shit, there's cats in the bushes. Now, me and Steve has some good times here, right, Steve? Good times Hello. Hello. Like hey. Exactly. Oh. This was a oh, poor thing. Look at the rolls. Oh, look at this one. And oh, my God. Still here. Is it the restaurant? Wow, is that one's beautiful, there. Oh. No, that's a beautiful one, that. Wow. I think they're just really hungry, yeah. Look, look at them. So oh. Right, we need Right, we need to go and find somewhere to get them food. I want to. No, we we have might have to. some food. Give them a sandwich or something. Oh shit, yeah, I'm giving them a sandwich, right? Wow. Hold on, I've got a sandwich. They're really hungry. My only sandwich. I'm eat that. Yeah, ham. I have fried chicken, I don't know. Yeah, chicken, that. that'll, that'll help. Yeah. Well, look at this guy here. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. Alright. Don't worry, guys. Oh, look at you. Hey, get down here. <laughs> I know I'm trying, I'm trying to feed you as much as I can. I love the cat. 
look at you. Oh. Are you okay? I'm coughing a little bit. I know, I'm giving you some. There you go. Give my whole sandwich. Yeah, me too. Oh, this breaks my heart. It's sad though. Like, I yeah. Here. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't prepared for this. Where do we get food from, Espionage? Yeah. We need more food. Um, Where do we get it from? Should we break into here and find food? No, uh, very hungry. Yeah, very hungry. We need to find food. We, we need to find food somewhere on the island. Wow. Whoa, Steve, you generous man. Wow. Everyone, I want to see everyone comment in Steve, you generous boy. I just gotta take the crunchy, spicy stuff. I don't think they can. Nah, they can not, bro. They'll eat whatever they can. Yeah? Steve, yeah. you're the Holy Grail. Yeah, right now. Steve. He doesn't want to give that chicken out, really. <laughs> <laughs> He's hating every moment. He's hating every moment, but. So these cats are really hungry. Come on, bub. Come on. But if I, listen, so if listen. I give them my sandwich, I'm gonna die. Diet starts now, right? right it's you're gonna right. do as well. It's gonna do them well. Trust me, Josh. Uh, you're right. Come on. You're Good right. lad, Josh. And the cats right. just come here and be fed by the owner. Hey, don't worry. Yup, that's right. Ooh. <laughs> that's right. Share the wealth, boys. Hey, no, no food. Josh, don't. Hey. Get out of your mouth now. So, espionage. Yeah. Two months ago, yeah. many more. More, more. more cats. More. cats. Lots more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Die. Oh, they all die. Many oh. cats die. Wow, wow bro. And so, that's the thing. Like, are they dying because they're hungry? Are they dying because of diseases? Or is it both? That's what I don't understand. It's all of it. It's all, bro. These ones are only kittens as well. I know. This one's a lot. He keeps doing this. And that's a beautiful looking car as well. Aren't you? Bro, I wasn't prepared for this. Bro, we feed them whatever we've got, honestly. I don't think they're going to eat bananas, but... Oh, es look at es Espinage. You're, you're a good man, Espinage. Both my sandwiches are all gone now. We'll, we'll be okay, we'll eat a lot tonight. Which one is our blind, Dan? That little one. Which one? Well, this one is from here. Why? Well, one of his eyes just white. Because, you know, there's not a lot of people that can go on this island. So, now they have to rely on people like us. I'll tell you this guys, there's never a time where I want to break into somewhere but I'm contemplating breaking into the abandoned restaurant just to get food for these cats. I think it's justified. Steve, do you agree? You think there's food in there? Well yeah, I think I think so. It's worth the risk, I mean it's either that or these cats die. He said there's many more. He said lots of cats died. Bro, if I'd have known about this, I'd have fucking brought so much food, it's not even funny. I'd have packed the whole fucking car. Yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah, because they're going to be infection. My, my they might be able to Are get cured. Are you confused? Three cats, three cats. Oh, yeah. 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 Don't touch. Like, yeah, there's something that's too cats. far gone. Like, ah, uh, cool. Very sick smell. Yeah, like yeah. that black smell. Sick. Smell on the sick. sick, yeah. Yeah, very Even this little kid here, he's unwell. He's really unwell. The one? This one. Hey, what are you saying? We don't touch the cat because they're all... Because they're sick. Oh. <laughs> you said don't touch them. That's why I don't want to touch them. It'd be alright. You can't, you can't really get much from a uh, wild cat anyway, unless it bites or scratches you. Well, we're going to have to leave the cats.
Um, I wouldn't say this is over because we're going to try and find some food on the island somewhere. Whether it be a vending machine, I don't know if they do warm food for a vending machine. We might even do sandwiches in a vending machine, I don't know. That'd be cool to do. Yeah, <laughs> if they do, I'll, I'll, I promise you that the, the people of uh, Ibikishima will be hungry for maybe a day because I'll buy up all the sandwiches I'm going to bring them all yeah. here, feed the cats. This guy is beautiful, look at him. Look at you, I know. You are definitely the alpha of the group, aren't you? And this one, this one's beautiful. I really yeah, like this one yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna film the apartment first and start the video starting pretty much now. Uh, no, 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 cats only. Okay, okay. Cats. cats only. <laughs> cats, <laughs> cats only. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Oh, I know, it's okay. I know, you know, you're not used to being stroked, are you? Hey? They're not used oh, to being loved. Yeah, they're really not used to being loved. If I can, I'll be back, I promise you. I promise you, if I can, if I can come back and help, I promise you I will, okay? I will. Right, watch out, boys. You get past you. You too, eh? See, they're just not used to being loved. Guys, move out of the way. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Go. Oh, no, uh, no, stop, stop. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Let me, let me move them. Let me move them. <laughs> Come on, guys, go on. Go on, go on. Nandayo. <laughs> hey, who did that? That's unfair. <laughs> so uh, after that stop, um, took a took a few minutes just to you know taking what's what's happening. So because I wasn't I wasn't ready for all that. Um, but now we're outside the apartment blocks of the miners. We're going to take a look inside some of these. We've got hospital to go to. We've got school to go to. This uh, this island is, is is pretty large. It's going to take more than eight hours to do it. We uh, we only have the day. But the guys are all gearing up, ready. Could have the old lamp post has fallen down, crumbled into the floor. It actually feels a lot different than Battleship Island. It feels a lot more apocalyptic here because it's more modern than what Battleship Island was. But apparently, um, Espinar said this, there was last time, there's meant to be one person still living here. One person. I mean, look at this. doesn't support the bridge look completely rusted <laughs> <laughs> non safe slowly slowly Can I see you? Look, look at this motorbike completely rusted into pieces. Look at that. Look at that. I'm ducking, guys. Okay, maybe they didn't, I'm lost.
Yeah, it's Kindle. It's martial arts. Uh, we we were like sticks. Do a train. Wow. So this is what the rooms look like here. Look. What is that? Kindle training equipment. Kindle. Yeah. What is that? It's like sword fighting. Is Bushido the same thing? Or no? This is like a, that's what, that's what a Kindle. Said. Don't know. Yeah, British that's the head mask. Oh, that's a gear too right there. Body. It's the training gear. <laughs> Is this called uh, Kendall? Kendall. Kendall, yeah. yeah. Kendall. Yeah. Chest. Yeah, chest piece, head piece. No swords. Oh, the hand hammer. Oh, yeah, yeah, glove. With sword. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a secret samurai? Espionage is a samurai. Samurai. Yeah. He's last samurai. He's last samurai. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, this buzz, it pulls up. It pulls up from no one. Once a week. <laughs> Once a week it pulls up from no one here. Just in case there is anyone here. It's like a ghost bus almost. Take another look. Surprise, surprise. Crazy. It's crazy the bus pulls up basically to a ghost town to pick up any remaining people who are here and there's no one so he just sits there and has a piss half oh, an hour and drives off. No, literally no. It's crazy, isn't it? I have to sit there and I have to say that. Okay, okay perfect. Good. We can speak louder now. Just go. It's gone, Steve. Bye bye. It's gone. We can go and explore more, more of the areas. Lost. Lost. <laughs> okay. Lost. Okay. <laughs> They'll find a way. Only room. Only room. Yeah. Only this is the only good room here. We got here first, boys. Still got the girl in there. That's kind of scary. This is well kept. Considering the rest is almost completely abandoned. It's a lot scarier than normal abandoned because of 
how derelict it is, how empty. And knowing that this is one of the last remaining houses that was occupied here, imagine being the only one within seven or eight tower blocks to, to be living there. You know, you're in bed and you hear a bang coming down the corridor. You know no one lives here. It's creepy. Yeah, dolls and stuff. It's pretty creepy. Still got the makeup and stuff there. Look at that. The kind of deodorant. Kind of deodorant's being hit by the salt air. It's eroded one side of it. Oh, what is that down there? Is that a Nez? It is a Nez. Look at that. It's an actual. Nintendo So if you didn't already know that's a, a NES a Nintendo Entertainment System Then became the SNES which is a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Which then later became your know, Game Boys and N64 and it has evolved into the switch over the years uh, This is where it originated from so piece of history right there And if you didn't already see the vlogs what the hell is this? If you didn't already see the blocks, um, obviously Japan is very expensive uh, in terms of like travel and stuff like that. So to help pay for the trip, so to help pay for the trip, obviously we've got a good, obviously we've got merch that we do very well with. And I want to say thank you to everyone who's bought merch. Uh, everyone who, who helps with the live streams, donates on live streams, even though it's not necessarily, I always say, don't donate, get something for your money and buy some merch, you know. Um, but without you guys and people just watching the videos, this would not be possible. But to help financially, me, me Dave, Josh and, and Steve, all four of us, have been going to secondhand stores, uh, some called Hard Off, and it's basically used items. And we've been buying tons and tons of retro games from the NES, the SNES, 64, the Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, uh, PlayStation 1, 2, um, you know, all these different consoles. Uh, mainly I've been buying, you know, Final Fantasy, Mario, Zelda, you know, the, the main stuff that's easy to sell and that will pay, help pay for the trip. And in fact, I spoke to my dad about it. And what we're going to do is everything we sell out of that stuff, I might even list them on my website, everything we sell, and I'm going to put it into a pot. My dad wants to come to Japan because my dad wants to do this as like a legitimate company. So I was like, right, okay, well, let's, let's maybe come back in, you know, November. November when the flights are a bit cheaper, we can come here. I can film like five or six videos and we can also travel around buying uh, games. We can vlog it as well, buying, buying consoles and stuff and games and go home and resell. So, yeah, it's just a little insight into what goes on behind the scenes too. So make sure you check out that vlog, uh, which is the uh, Japan's first store game halls. Well, I think that's what I'm going to call it anyway. Lots of uh, cassettes down there, tape cassettes. A lot of nice looking books in there. And the clothes are still hung up in the wardrobe. So this this is open, the windows have, have smashed. Even the metal bars have eroded off the windows that once kept people out. And the sea air is the, the the most deadly thing to this island. The sea air is blowing all the salt in, which is eroding everything. But surprisingly, this still stands where where something so solid, like iron uh, iron bars, have eroded because of the salt. These wooden cabinets with the with the clothes inside have still remained intact and standing, which is uh, yeah, you know, that's it's strange to see, but it definitely reminds me of Battleship Island. And the last time these were put here, you know, was 20, 30 years ago, you know, people have put the stuff there and just gone, never to return. Bro, look what I dug up off the floor. What? Oh, is that a Super Nintendo? No, it's a Nintendo. It's a Nintendo Entertainment System, a NES, the first one. It's a NES. Do you know all them Dragon Ball Z games you've got, bro? Oh, it works for this The small system. ones? That's what that's for. 
Dude, the Nintendo here looks so different from the Nintendo in the U.S. How come the, t the Nintendo here is even slimmer than the Nintendo back at home? At least mine are. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. It all seems to be different, but is that Sailor Moon I see there? Oh no. No, it's oh, not. Oh, no, Hello it's, Kitty in the bag. No, it's her. It's Princess. Yeah, Sailor Moon. It is Sailor Moon. Yeah, Sailor Moon. Oh yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so we have Sailor Moon figures. What's that? I don't know. Like fake money. Yeah, it's fake yen. It's like toy yen. Okay. Anything else here? What? It's Nintendo. Yep. Yeah, like a little kind of shiny disc one. You know, that's the other copy disc. Yeah. But they were way bigger Damn. and nicer. The original. Look at that, guys. Oh, no, okay. So this. Is, sorry. Is not the early one. Yeah, I thought it was the, it's the cartridge. Drag cartridges we've got. Yeah, so one, the Dragon Ball Z ones that Josh has got. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yep, yeah, that's There's right. That's right. That's right, boys. <laughs> Should have brought them, we should have set up a TV and yeah. 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 Imagine that. <laughs> Could have brought a Jenny. Not 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 a woman called Jenny, I mean a generator. They say be careful when you're walking with that, it's all asbestos. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. that roof I sheet. That. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You stand on it, you crack it, releases the particles, yeah. so you gotta be careful. I mean look at this. This might have been the bus that still drives around to this day. Look at these class clowns having fun in the school. I'm trying to see if I recognise anything else here. Wow. Hey, look at that! One litre Coca Cola balls. <laughs> Never seen that before. Well, that's a good find. When I talk about the iron and steel being eroded, look at the state of this door. Completely being eroded away, where the wood stays intact. Some old roller skates, uh, but we were trying to work out what these are. But Espinosa says it's like timetables, so they've been doing homework on the walls here, and this here is a timetable of uh, of the classes they have, like language, music, um, and so forth. And then someone drew a woman, and someone crossed it out. It's gonna get a little bit windy here, guys. I do apologize, but. It's crazy, dude, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, what did you have at school? You remember it said all your time tables? Across. What that book was called. Cross that. If you cross that, 80% chance of death. Yeah. I'd say 82%. Well, what was the death tunnel? Yeah, the, no, the ladder, of, ladder, of, ladder doom. of doom. We've done that. Ladder of death, yeah. This is the, the, lad, uh, the bridge of doom. Yeah, I've done the bridge of death, but this is the bridge of doom. This is the bridge of no return. This is the bridge to the afterlife. Yeah. This is the bridge to the end party. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, you take this bridge to exit the party. <laughs> Yeah, okay. There's my favourite one. He's still sat there waiting. Look at them all. So we're walking down these abandoned streets. Look at these. People used to live in these at one point. It's unbelievable. Everything's so overgrown. This is a full, fully abandoned street. Right, so I do apologise for the wind. I forgot my mic. But out of all these places, only two people who still live here. Well, two families. One there and one further up. Everything else is abandoned. That is. That's actually. This is the abandoned factory. You can hear there's an active build there. So we've got to hide. Okay. 
Okay, we have to run. What's that noise? We have to. What's that? Over here. Oh, 12 o'clock. Ah. Dinner time. They still play that on the island. It's 12 o'clock. Safety. 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 A little bit lost in translation, it might be like a carts, like a mine carts type thing. Well, here's the train station we're going to try and get to. I don't know what's there, I don't know if it's mine carts or if it is actual trains. I'm just taking some pictures over here, so if you didn't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Explore My Fires. You can see all kinds of new content, upcoming content, and behind the scenes stuff for me and the boys just having fun. Cracking day, you know what I think? I think it's going to be really good. No, I think it's just a cracking day. Cracking? I mean, squeaking around. No, no, I mean a cracking day, it means a good day. Oh, true, true. I see what you meant. <laughs> I see what you meant. I thought it was a rock as well. Yeah. It's a turtle. No. It's Master Roshi's turtle. <laughs> Here it is, and it's not what I expected it to look like. <laughs> oh, it's a... Made in Germany. Cool. Made in Germany. World uh, uh, record. World record? For the longest? Speed. Fast, fast. Oh, wow. World record for fast? Yeah. Fastest? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing! This is actually really cool. Yeah, I, in five years ago, I did not come here. This is really cool. And it kind of, you know, shows you guys the stories. You know, fills in the idea of why people are here and why people even had society here. I mean, everything comes down to money in the end, right? But the coal... Would this would take all the workers into the mine. Now, apparently the mine is now blocked. 
But I did say, for how long? If there's a way to open it, now that would be a fun mission. Mega Mega goddess. Mega goddess. Goddess love sea. Goddess love sea. Can we get it working? Can we drive it? Yeah. 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 Let's drive it. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Go. Everyone, get aboard. Right. Get aboard. Yeah. Get on. Yeah, down. <laughs> World record. World record. So, uh, four mile plane. Just uh, fifty kilometers. All fifty kilometers. World record. Imagine going 50 kilometers an hour into a mine. No, I don't. <laughs> it sounds scary, but yeah. Espinage has just told us that it's, this is 30 years old and it had a touch screen. Um, so not only are the Japanese very advanced, but it seems like the Germans were quite advanced back then too. Is that right? Germans quite quite clever? Clever. Oh, okay. Made of Germany. I've made in Germany. Back towards near the car. We're back in this location. Um, all these are abandoned bar two. Just two families live over there, which is just unbelievable. Because look at it. This is Jurassic World. This is I Am Legend. This is an apocalyptic time. Time that this place, you know, is not dealing well with. The CEO is a road and everything. It's not, not doing well, which imagine living here. So yeah, this is actually quite a famous street. A lot of really good photos of this place. And I was lucky enough to have Espinage photograph me for the second time. First time he did that, 2019 on Battleship Island. And he did it again. So if you want to see that photo, Instagram, Spawnery Fighters, come over and see it. Make sure you like it, drop a like, show your appreciation for Espinage. I think it's a starlet. Is it an old Toyota starlet, that, Dave? I think it's a Toyota Starlet, yeah. I mean, it looks like a K11 Micro, but it's definitely not a K11 Micro. It's actually a uh, automatic, but it's a. Uh, what? It looks what? Like that, that D symbol again, it looks oh, like. Oh, Diatsu! Yeah, that's the one. That's a four door. That's all it is. Huh. That's cool, though. Yeah, that's what's going on there. Right? Look at the hole in the roof. Yeah. Touching inside. We'll probably sit right, doesn't it? Just made it in the hospital. Uh, we've got to be careful because this does connect to an open facility. I don't think it's a hospital, I think it's just like a medical centre that a couple of people run because obviously there's only 100 people on the island. But let's go and see what this place has got in store for us. I don't know what's left here, I don't know any information about it, bar that it's part of Ikushima Island and it's the old hospital. Now bear in mind, at the maximum capacity, this, this island had 2,000 people, which still isn't a great amount. So the hospital didn't have to be massive.
I wonder if they're an operating theatre here. Whoa! Holy crap! Bro! This is a dental area. Holy shit. So guys, we just finally got It's the children's children's part. So it's kind of empty now. This I think there's just a consulting room. This is uh, much better than I expected. Much, much better than I expected. The way the, uh, the island's taking over the outside of it. Some kind of restraints. I wonder what this was. Hmm. Definitely some form of restraint, so. This is an amazing place so far. So pristine. These windows are open now. I've been smashed. Cabinet full of keys. Okay. Hi. Uh, 1959. Open. Oh, 1959. Okay. 22. 2002. Yeah. Oh. Close. Right. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. So it's been shut for 21 years in total. Uh, yeah, this is this is really good. Really like, really enjoy this one. It's not like the hospital we did in Fukushima, you know, where it was still relatively new. This this is old, very old abandoned. I'm gonna close this door. Put the paint. Why is it radioactive? So I step in anyway. These x rays. I think. I think it might be x-rays, that's why it was radioactive, yeah, there's a screen. Okay, so it was just x-rays. But again, that is radiation. Just a picture bit. It's quite interesting that we're in here now where they would do x-rays because after Fukushima, the amount of time we spent there, the time we spent in the red zone, we took in around about four x-rays which is more than what we should do, but wasn't crazy amounts. Nothing to be concerned about, really, because it has died down a lot. Even though when it's a 0, 0 0.08, and the next minute, you know, it's 0, 0, 0.09.50, it is a massive jump, but still not considered lethal. Well, this is one of the main entrances. 
Yeah, I main entrance. Main reception. And there is an active bit over there. This is behind reception. You can tell it's old. Very can be modern wooden panelling and massive beakers there. These old pigeon holes. Still got some information inside them. That one's got tablets, that one's got tablets. Look, they've all got medication inside them. Right. Yeah? Please stay Fuck off. Is that real? Yeah, it is real. Is it alive? No. Fucking hell. I'll just throw my camera at you. No, I'm gonna chat to you anyway. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Your dance face was like, what the fuck? I still picked it out and it's still on my finger. Right, Steve's down there, I'm coming with you. Don't, I, I don't, Steve. Steve. Don't, don't throw it on him. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, That's Steve horrible, was man. like, it's all right, right. no, it's not. <laughs> Well, it was like literally floating in the air. Yeah, well, that's a shell, right? So, where it came out of that is, is, is like a lot bigger. Oh, that's true. That's, that's the true. Sh sh shredded skin. <laughs> uh, this spider. <laughs> Huntsman. Great, we got Huntsman spider in here. Okay, yeah, so we were looking at the pigeonholes. So this must have, must have been the medication disposal place because um, it is still littered in medication. Yeah. This is where they probably mix it up as well. Yeah, I'm guessing so. Storage. Oh wow, look at this. Operating, operating utensils. Full of them, look at all the scissors. So much stuff. And down here, a lot of instruments, a lot of utensils. Look at all these clamps and stuff. This, you got so much still here. I don't think this was so. So, Espinard just said this is not the operating room, the operating room is the next door. Let's go and take a look at the operating room. And I've got a feeling. Oh, wait, I've seen one of those before. I'll get to that in a minute. We saw them in Italy. That is an operating room as well. This is the operating room. Wow. Shit. The lights go in. I'm calling 
Read a heartbeat. Holy shit. Look at that. So this was the only operating theater on Ikushima Island. Now there is one next door, and I believe that to be uh, an examination for dead bodies. I believe that to be post-mortem examination room. Just because of the way the wooden table bit does tilt up and stuff, does strap someone down. Uh, I have seen one before in Italy in an asylum. And I think it's like they put the body down and they can move it around easier. But this place, I was not expecting this. No one told me what to expect coming here. I thought it was going to be like Battleship Island, you know, run down. There's a rusty old light on the floor that once was the operating theatre light. I did not expect it to be like this. It's caught me off guard a little bit. In fact, the whole island has caught me off guard so far from the cats, from the no food, from 100 people to the hospital. It's, uh, it's been a, a damn good day. So I've just had Josh inside here. I've just been getting some pictures and uh, we just noticed. So there's some spiders in here. Oh, fucking hell, that one's moving. There's a couple up there. Let's take a look at that fucking thing. No, thank you. No, thank you. It's dead, but I don't care. Yeah, so it is one of them. But then again, there's not obviously straps to strap people down on that one. Uh, no, leave me a comment down below. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it was for strapping people down and autopsies and stuff? Oh, hard to say. Now I want to go and see. There's another good room in here. Let's go and take a look. I mean, I've been to some abandoned places in the six years I've been doing this, but it's very rare I come across, it's very rare I come across places that shock me. And I wasn't expecting it today, but it happened. I'm, I'm officially shocked. This is unbelievable. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. It truly is. Look at this. Look at that. So beautiful guys, I'm going to get a shot of that. Uh, this and the theatre room is definitely my favourite so far. So as you can see this is a dental room and you have appliances here for dental surgery, teeth removal, straightening teeth out, you know, the works, it's all in here. I know a lot of you probably don't like the dentist and probably not enjoying this part but yeah, it truly is amazing. There is a wabaki. There is an upstairs, which we'll go and check out now. Right, here we go.
Hospital. I'm going to go. What is there? What is that smell? What is that smell? Animal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. It smells bad. Maybe cats. Yeah. X-ray room. I'm cut. Oh yeah. Oh wow, it's a chest x-ray. Wow, look. Oh, hospital. I oh, know, working hospital. There's a toilet, toilet bathroom. Can't go in that room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, look at that. Exploring with Josh, 2017. Exploring with Steve, when Steve Ronan was. Oh, right, I'm gonna write my name. Legends making on this board, Dan. It's true. It's 2017 years here. Mm-hmm. I was here in 2016 and 2017. Where's my name? Uh, exploring with Steve. <laughs> That's what I was known as exploring with Steve. Exploring with Steve 2017. That was before he abandoned his heritage. <laughs> Dan, do you think he'll ever come back here again? Yeah. Why not? It's a good place. Do the cats better this time? That's exactly why I come back. I'm just gonna come just back with you all, all of them. With suitcases full of tuna. <laughs> Steve. Oh, it smells so bad in here. Gross. It smells that bad I can't even go in, guys. It is disgusting. Twenty twenty three. To be honest, most of it's empty anyway. Oh my god, it's so bad. Bathrooms. This is just all cat feces everywhere. Some beds left here. My battery's got 1% left as well. If it cuts off, you know why. Another ward, another ward, another Nandrew. I think I'm done just in time, 1% battery left. Uh, I'll see you back at the car when I can change my battery because I didn't bring my uh, rucksack with me because I knew I'd climb through windows and stuff. How did you find it though? How did you even know to look in there? So what happened was I was snooping around and seeing what kind of like cool because I, I found a bone saw in here. Oh, okay. And so it brought me in here to then hearing the cat. So oh, I went you heard to go it. rescue. I thought I was rescuing a cat. Turns out it was a whole cat protecting their, their kids. You know? I'm sorry. I don't mean to disturb you. Look at that. It's 
Okay. Poor things. I'm gonna leave them alone. Poor things. Oh my god. Oh, it's upsetting. They, they look healthy, but for how long? Yeah, they shouldn't belong in here. I'm gonna I, tonight. Place. I'm gonna email. I'm gonna email some kind of cat rescue in Japan, Nagasaki, and try and yeah. try and get them to come here and, and rescue the cats because it's not fair. It's fucking. It's horrible. Just real, uh, walked by. So it was a student, and he asked how many students were here. Yeah, he said uh, three. This year, three students. Three students on the island. On this island. <laughs> and that's the three. school we were talking about. Three students on the island. <laughs> that's zero, zero students. Zero yeah. students. <laughs> so six next year. Ten six. years. One hundred. Oh, oh, oh. Well, there's loads of cats here. Yeah, he's stroking the cat in that guy there. That's what I mean. It's like, are they fixing them? This is the cat island. There's this... more cats here than on cat island. Yeah, that was true. This is cat yeah, island. More cats. Look, they're all... There's more cats here than cat island? Yeah, yeah there's more cats that. here, definitely. What? Cat island was fun, but this is like... Yeah, it was about equal, I'd say. You know what? I just What really throws me off mm. is the fact that there's that amount of little people that are left. How do they even afford to like, live here? Because it probably doesn't cost anything to live yeah, here. Yeah, it's free. It's, it's the hotel that's got one person in it. How does that 20 keep clip. the business going? You know, they probably just live. And there's no food at the hotel. The only thing here is that vending oh, machine. so weird, man. I just, I don't know, man. I'm really Whoa. just, I find Oh, <laughs> we got lucky. Yeah. I'm happy. We just made the boat. All right, oh, explorers. We are literally leaving, boarding the boat. You know so about? we might be coming back tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> it's not over. We we're either coming back tomorrow and taking loads of cats back with us, or we're coming back tomorrow with a lot of food and try and get some antibiotics and stuff for them. But can't leave it like that. We can't leave it like that. We could, but we don't. We shouldn't. No, dude, That's I'm, how I feel. I, I just, shouldn't. I'm the I same. Just, I'm the same. It's just hard to say. You rescue your dog, and I've saved cats. You know, even um, you said on the phone, uh, anywhere you go, you manage to find a cat, and you want to save it. And I went, no, nah, you know what? I'm not. But I'm just worried that there's babies. They've got babies still pushed in the bushes somewhere. I don't know.
Oh, 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 oh,